Hello and welcome to this GCSE Geography Help video. We're still looking at development and we're going into the case study side of things. But first we need to look at the MDGs. So what are these MDGs? Well MDGs or Millennium Development Goals are eight goals set in the year 2000 by the UN to be achieved by 2015. All 193 nations in the UN agree to these. So these are the MDGs. End Poverty and Hunger, Universal Primary Education, Gender Equality, Reduce Infant Mortality Rates, Improving Maternal Health, that's pregnant women, Combating HIV and AIDS, Ensuring environmental state stability and develop global partnership. So, now for a look into primary education, just taking one of the goals out and really having a look at why this was chosen. So, first, why do some poor parents in poor countries, as in really poor, not send their children to school? and this would be in countries where it's not compulsory to send children to school. So why on earth would somebody not send their child to somewhere where they can get education? Well, it's not as stupid as it might sound. There's these four main reasons. Children are needed for work. Culture in some countries, that the women stay at home and the men go. Parents might be too ill, so they might have HIV or AIDS or malaria, and they need their children to look after them. But not every country has free universal primary education, so some people just can't afford school. So why is education so important, and why have they chosen education to be one of the universal goals to achieve by 2015. Well, if we take a girl as an example, an educated girl in general marries later in life because she's gone to school. So she has fewer children because she's had family planning and it provides good learning opportunities for her children because she's married later and she's had got fewer children. Also, she will seek medical attention sooner for her children and herself because she knows when she's educated, or a little bit, on medicine and what's a cold and what's worse than a cold. She will also provide better nutrition and care for herself and her children because she's educated. She knows what, what food is good and what food is bad. And because of those two, she has a higher chance of surviving and as do her children. So lastly, education as a whole. What does education as a whole give you? Well, it gives you an understanding of culture, qualifications, understanding rules, punctuality, that means getting there on time, PE fitness, socialising and religion and respect and you might think oh education you go there for qualifications yes you do but there's a lot more that uneducated people miss out on so that's it for this week next time we're looking at some actual case studies of where the MEDG's or Millennium Development Goals are in practice